Hello, my Capricorn friends. This is you versus them for the week of the 17th through the 23rd. This is to see how you and the person that you were thinking about, how you guys are getting along here, okay? There you are. Now, this could very well be somebody that um, you're not even sure about or somebody that you are oblivious to okay and keep in mind too that the energy can flip-flop so and even cross over so keep that in mind if this reading resonates for you please hit the like button share the video subscribe to the channel and we will jump right into this if you guys need a personal reading please go to the website if you have an issue there please email me okay all right guys here we go capricorn what do we got going on for my Capricorn friends? All right. This is you. Seven of Swords. Ooh, Nine of Swords. Ten of Wands. Strength. Them. Page of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. The full. Hmm. All right, Capricorn, you've got some sneaky energy um, going on here with the Seven of Swords. At least that's the way that you're feeling. I almost get the impression that you think somebody is doing something behind your back. But honestly, I don't think so because with the Seven of Swords, the Nine of Swords, Nine of Swords is imagination running wild. So if you think somebody is doing something behind your back, they're probably not, okay? They're probably not. So, you know, there is a need for you. There's a need for you to be strong enough to lay down a burden of that overactive imagination. Because at the end of the day, this is you deceiving yourself, okay? This is you deceiving yourself. It's really, it's really calling for you to Evaluate all those thoughts that you're thinking and check out the ones that you can really show and prove, okay? You're going through a lot right now. All right, guys. So with the person that you're dealing with or the person that is in your energy, um, this person is actually running away. I'm not going to say running away, but they felt foolish in the past they took a leap of faith on something that did not pan out the way that they wanted it to okay and so now they are very defensive they feel like they will never be a fool again okay they're moving very slowly looking back at the past and just kind of treading lightly in their steps ahead Okay, that's what they're doing. They're just treading lightly. They're just trying to move to a calmer um, space here. Because I feel like at one point you guys were, um, you know, you were mirroring each other. But the, this person down here is trying to move forward and come out of this energy. And they are. They are. You guys are kind of almost mirroring each other and I think that you will catch up to the point where you start um, feeling better you're gonna find your way out of this with the strength being there because this is an energy that's exterior to you that's propelling you that's trying to guide you <clears throat> excuse me trying to guide you out of these this nine, nine of swords energy I'm sorry <clears throat> my throat excuse me so you will end up coming out of this. Um, just listen to your intuition. Evaluate what's really going on here. 
um, because this is you kind of deceiving yourself here, okay? The energy that's present here is Gemini, Aquarius, um, Sagittarius, Leo, Libra, Aries, Taurus. I mean, it could be any sign, guys. Only you, you know your own personal stories, okay? But, you know, the only, this person just feels like they took a chance on something that did not pan out um you know in their favor so they decided to leave it behind and go towards something new but very slowly i don't see them jumping into anything any relationships or anything okay all right capricorn so that's what i have for you for um the 17th or the 23rd and i'll speak with you soon